Hey guys, this is Heinz from the Urban Blend. I'm um, just going to give you uh, a look at some of the Android Twitter clients available in the market right now. These are all free versions. Uh, we will not be looking at the pro versions at all because free is always better. Um, we're going to take a look around most of them. Uh, that way you can make a decision on your own as far as like which one is the one you like or which one is the one that you would like to uh, use yourself on your device. Uh, Let's go ahead and start with uh, Sismic. Sismic, uh, this is the timeline uh, section. These are where all the tweets are located. Um, there's a refresh button up here on top. That What it does is it refreshes all the timelines. Uh, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can always select the red bar on top. Sorry and that will uh, take you back to the top of the timeline. Um, as far as options, there's uh, also a refresh bu uh, button on menu. There's a list um, button. There's an account. And this is where it will display all the different accounts that you have, whether it's one, 20, doesn't matter. Um, sorry about that. Didn't mean to do that. There is a settings uh, button. Here you can change the look and feel, uh, how many uh, messages to display on your timeline. Uh, you get anything from 20 to 200. Uh, remember position. Uh, basically what that does is say you uh, get out, you close out the application. When you go back in, it remembers where you were um, the last time you were in. So you have to scroll back to that particular tweet. Uh, you can select how big your text mess your your messages are. Um, you, the text uh, size is on the tweets, so you can tell them uh, how big you want it from small to extra large. Uh, then you get background updates. Here you can select uh, if you want to enable updates, how often you want these guys. Um, if you want uh, any, you got anything from five minutes to six hours. Um, you want to if you want to show notifications. Uh, if you want it to vibrate when it's trying to notify you. Uh, if you want it to ring, what kind of ringtone would you like to use? And it gives you different options. Um, if you want the uh, if you have a trackball or anything that flashes on your device to notify you, uh, that would uh, do that. Um, what kind of notifications do you want? If you want your uh, tweets, so any tweet uh, you get notified. If there's a reply to you, if there's a direct message to you, uh, you can tell which one to notifi notify you on. There's a photo video services as well. Um, you can tell uh, what servers to use. These are different options. You got Tweet Photo, Yfrog, Tweetpeak, Mobi Picture, etc. Uh, same with the video, Yfrog, Twivid, and YouTube. Um, URL services, you got different ones as well. Uh, it's miscellaneous. Uh, here you can tell it to launch the application every time you uh, restart your uh, device. Um, it, uh, from here you can clear out your cache as well. And if the phone crashes for whatever reason, you can send the information to uh, Sysmic so they can take a look at it and find out why is it crashing. Um, this is where you look at your Twitter accounts. It has uh, access to Google Buzz. So if you want to use Google Buzz, you can use that as well. And then from here, you get a search button. This will allow you to search everything. Search trending topics and, sh and search users. So you can search anything here. Uh, let's say, uh, let's do a search for Obama. And this will show you all the different uh, tweets uh, related to whatever you're searching for, in this case Obama. Um, now if you don't want to select a particular tweet, uh, you can uh, select a tweet and then it will give you uh, information on it, whatever the tweet was. 
uh, will stamp the the tweet with the uh, with the time, the date, and the way it was tweeted. In this case, it was done via web. Uh, it will give you a star on the right hand side, uh, which you can use to make it a uh, ferret. If you're not following that person, uh, you can follow the person here as well. You can reply, retweet, and direct message that person. If you select the user by uh, by, by selecting the user up on top, it gives you a, a small description. If he has a website, what the website is. Again, you can reply, direct message. Uh, this is how many tweets a person has, uh, how many favorites, uh, how many people are following, how many uh, followers he has, the list, and like I told you, you can follow and block the user here on, on the bottom as well. Uh, if you select tweets, it will give you the list of all the tweets uh, this person has submitted to Twitter. If you select following, I did have a lot, so uh, let's give it a minute here so we can load everything. And you can see it gives you all the people following. And followers, same information, different users. So these are the guys who are uh, following this particular person. If you select a person from that list, it will give you uh, kind of the same information that you see from the original user. You know, same thing, followers, following, favorites, tweets, reply. You can actually follow the person here or block them. Uh, let's go back. Now these are, in here you get four buttons. The first one, like I said, is a timeline. Second one is replies, so anybody that replies to your messages on Twitter will be listed here. These are direct messages, if anybody sends you a direct message will be listed here. And you get your profile, this is your, your profile with your tweets, your favorites, retweets, following uh, the people you're following, your followers, and if you're part of any list. Uh, you can also press and hold uh, a tweet, and you can do different things from it. You can view the tweet, reply, retweet. Uh, send a direct message, make it a favorite, and share it. Uh, sharing, um, so wait for that to come up. You can uh, share it using whatever your, your services you have in your phone, whether it's Facebook, Gmail, Google Voice, and so forth. Um, if you want to send a message, you press the menu. And here you can type in your information. Uh, you can take a picture, select a picture from the gallery. You can take a video or select a video from gallery as well. Uh, it allows you to add your location as well, among other things. Um, and then it allows you to use an address. So if you want to show right now an address that is too long and doesn't fit on the tweet or whatever, you can add it using that button there as well. Basically, pretty much. Um, same thing all around on most Twitter clients. Uh, if you have more than one account, you'll be able to select different accounts from top here. If you want to reply a message, like I said before, you select the user or the message or the tweet. You click on reply. Boom, you type in your information. As far as uh, widgets for uh, Sysmic, this is uh, the widget that it comes with. Uh, you get three different sections here. Uh, you get um, um, up here on top it says add and then it will have your username. When you select that, that will take you to the application. Uh, once you select the little note there with the pen to, uh, you know, note with the pen icon, it will take you right to the section where you uh, write down your message. And this it will refresh, it will keep giving you different tweets uh, by itself. You can also uh, select it yourself so you can scroll. These are random from your timeline, so it's not going to be, you know, it's not one after the other one uh, as you will see it on your timeline. It's just random, it picks different uh, tweets from your timeline. So that's basically uh, Sysmic. 
Um, this is the one that I use right now. Uh, so far, is the one that I like the most. Um, but like I said, you know, take a look at all of them, make your decision, see which one is the one you like.